Welcome back at some more Planet Zoo career mode. I finally freaking got the objective complete of a welfare of 90% and oh boy it took me like a few couple of hours because there are three things that I actually had to keep in mind in order to complete this objective. By the way, nice fire huh? I uh, I wanted to unlock the African team, but apparently it's not available, so I had to do something else. Uh, this is from the festive. I just put a few locks together, and then underneath here there is like this um, wall torch. Yeah, that's a nice way um, to make a campfire. Alright, so I'm just going to let it roll, by the way. But the only thing that now has to happen is breed one new cheetah. Of course, I will do some cut editing until I have two of those. And they will start breeding. And then we do the breeding stuff. And then we will go on to the next park. We're going to discover it, see the objectives and all kinds of things. Still going to put it on pause. Uh, Timberwolf. Oh boy, I, I had something funny to explain. Meanwhile, I'm trying to make clear how to do the objective because in order to do the objective for this 90% there are three things to keep in mind that is one you need to have enough animals for the social group right because you know they have social status uh, which is down here uh, it's 87% and now it's 96 uh, so if there is not too much animals this will go down right this will go down and over here you can see this it's for them it's okay um but uh, for example i need to have this uh african wild dog uh i only had one more left in the pen a female uh, i checked out other animal like this lion um i believe yeah his social group is totally of zero so it will count off in the overall of the uh, social, as you can see, social is 80, while well, these two are 100%, which will count off a few percent for them. Um, you know, the same goes with a lot of animals, and one are worse than the other. So, in order to keep uh, the 90%, uh, you have to keep an eye out on the overall stuff. And if you don't have animals which you can buy, which I have right now, uh, it's on the cheetahs, as you can see, you're going to have a problem with that. The second thing is the toys in overall. They can get bored of the toys. So what did I have to do just before the uh, dude came, uh, the reporter, I had to pause the game and replace all the toys from all of the freaking animals um, which is uh, tough sometimes because the giraffe for example they only have apparently one or two items uh, I believe one or two let me just check it out because there was I was struggling with that I, I thought it was the giraffe let me see uh, ridiculated giraffe mm -hmm. Yeah, two items, and I believe uh, because the research wasn't done, I was struggling with one item. So the happiness in overall, once again, with the toys. Now, I got it up above 90%, 94, 93, 92, you know, it's that kind of stuff. And I still didn't make it. And I really got stressed out, like, what can I do more? The toys is good, the populations were good. I was struggling and struggling, and if you don't make it, like if it goes down the 90% while the reporter is there, you have to wait another, uh, you know, as it says down here, 12 months. So, there was one more thing you could do. As I click here on the animal, the last thing I could do is meal quality. Alright? So, the meal quality is... Um, with the basic mill always 50% which counts up for this and this will count up with this so all of the animals have like 50% mill quality so I thought yes of course I need to put it up to grade 2 now this guy didn't have his food just yet so that's why the quality is down um, but I believe uh, let me see I think the camels no uh, some animals already had the stuff. I'm not wrong though. 
Uh, pinfalls must be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pinfalls. It's because I remember that. So it went up to 75 with a meal quality of 2. So the meal quality really helped me out. The reporter was in here. I saw the percentage go down and then I was like, oh, the meal quality. So I went uh, around to a lot of animals. I put it on uh, meal quality number 2. And uh, yeah, that was actually the key to keep it up 90% and then I made it like I have been struggling for hours and hours to get the stuff done I was almost so desperate that I wanted to uh, do another save and then only have like 4 or 5 animals with this amount of cash so I could maintain them better than having so many animals but it's finally freaking done and uh, in this case I just going to uh, you know let the game roll until I got two titas, try to take care of them, and uh, then I'll just come back to you when they are pregnant. Freaking finally. The last time I had 650,000 bucks, now I got 835,000 bucks. It took a freaking long time. So let's adopt this male, put it with this female, finally, and uh, let's put the game on play. This female has a P, female cheetah, very good. I uh, need to put this male cheetah. Where is the boy at? Can you guys stop this because I'm out of balloons, okay? Um, yeah, cheetah, cheetah. I thought I had a P in the front of the names, as in P from parents. Oh boy. This, ah, man, I tell you this, this park is freaking stressful, but I freaking love it. I really do freaking love it. And I also have to be honest, like, even though you cannot remove some buildings, I, I actually really like how I need to play around with stuff, have to think about it, so it gets less gritty. I mean, it's still very gritty, this part, and then it gets all messy, and you don't have to play around with it here and there. I, uh, I have enjoyed this park, I really enjoy it, I, I, even though this stupid bush down here, I believe it's this one, you cannot even remove it, I had to think, what can I do with this area, so, are you guys, uh, going to make out, oh yeah, mm hmm, what, what is the male, what is the female, Mm -hmm, you look like that, you look like that. Wait, you have lesser yellowy eyes, right? Looks like, and you have the very yellowy eyes. Oh, that was cute. No? Yeah, you have very yellowy eyes. So the female have yellowy eyes, and the male have no non-yellowy eyes. Okay. Look at that, pretty cool, right? Um, but boys, why don't you give each other a good one, huh? So you bend over in the front of his face, let him take a good sniff, so his other tail will go up, stick it right in the butt, ah, uh, get some babies, yeah, 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 I just, come on. Stick the tail in the butt? What are you talking about? Well, you should know what animals do. Stop playing with the boxes. Play with her. Come on. Uh, please, make out. Yes, the rain, perfect moment. So they can, you know, cover in this place. Come on. And then, cheetah died. Oh, screw this game. <laughs> Come on. Ah, now you want to. She's looking at you. She's looking at your butt. Come on. Turn around. Bro. Look. Yes, is this it? 
this it? Is this it? What? Did something happen here? Wait, was that? No, that wasn't. Let me just check out something. Mm. Go. Yes, are you going? Ah! Yes! Finally! You're going to finish off this freaking map. Ah, offspring. Go, 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 go. I think I remember with the... One of the African map, I believe. Oh boy, chocolate. Um, we ended up with this cheetah too. For some reason. It was like... Adopt you cheetahs or... Uh, these cheetahs, man. Beautiful creatures. Uh, so yeah. Then we go to the next park. We're going to have a look around. We're going to see what is the storyline. We're going to check the objectives. And, you know, maybe we already going to do something. It just depends on something. Nappy, nappy time. Almost too hungry. Go ahead, you guys. You guys should... Oh! Well, you look at all those different types of animals. I couldn't even tell you what half of them are. <laughs> no, I should probably pay more attention to the paperwork. You've done a very good job here. And I know it hasn't been easy, especially after I replaced the company's health and safety officers with health or safety officers. But it was all for a good cause, wasn't it? What? The animals? No, my public image. You know, before I got into the zoo business, I had a terrible reputation. It cut off certain avenues. But now, people are falling over themselves to do business with me. So trust me when I say that I'm not going to forget the work you've done for me. I could not have run these zoos without your expertise, and I promise you, you will always have a place in my company. Yeah, and in your wallet. <laughs> oh, this dude, man. All right, incorrectly, yada yada yada. Let's just uh, shape this, um, crack stuff up. Man, I wonder how much time. I wish you could see how much time you spent on each certain park. I think one. This is one of the longest, man. I spent so many hours on this park. Sitting here for at least like. 30 minutes of refreshing the freaking store because the only thing I needed was a cheetah and then did this do the same again but my friends we have a few more to go uh, I will think about this stuff here by the way so let's go to Nevada State Eco Zoo nestled within a rocky valley and atop of a small mesa Emin Goodwin's first zoo is also intended to be the world's first, a zoo with much diversity as now in its flora as its fauna. Whew. And with its peerless environment cred credentials without depth, Nevada State's Eco Zoo is a big swing for the fences and guess who's up at the bat. Sorry for my English sometimes. It goes like smooth and then all of a sudden there's a word and then I'm like struggling. A long time ago I said you'd always have a place in my company and that's still true. Unfortunately for you, that place is in the zoo's outbox because you're fired. It's not all bad, though. As part of your severance package, you get to keep your uniform. Don't worry, I'll take the cost out of your final pay packet. Oh, hello there. It's what Emma the again. Fuck? I was so happy to hear the news about Dominic firing you. Oh, sorry. Well, oh, that came across terribly. I simply mean that the timing of your dismissal is extremely serendipitous. You see, remember that something that I mentioned before? Well, 
I'm excited to say it has finally come to fruition. As a result, I find myself in need of a zoo manager. And while I could do it myself, I'll have bigger fish to fry. <laughs> Let me explain. You see, I plan on constructing a chain of zoos as rivals to those of Mr. Myers. Zoos where both the welfare of the animals and our planet is of paramount importance. The eventual goal? To drive Mr. Myers out of business and rescue the animals he's exploiting. But such a task is not simple. I will need someone like yourself who is qualified to handle the building of the zoos, while I concentrate on the overarching business. So, are you ready to make a difference? Well, I am. I am. I am. Okay, okay. It was weird, but sure, Emma Goodwin. Welcome to your new zoo! This should be a much more pleasant experience for you than your recent ones. Wow. And it should be more exciting, too! Just not in a, will I eventually be arrested for being a part of this way as it was with Mr. Myers. Not that your work won't be challenging. I mean, I want this zoo to become a paragon of eco-friendliness. Mm -hmm. You might say, we want to have a small carbon paw print. <laughs> oh, come on. No? Nothing? Fine. Wow. Wow. This is going to be amazing. So let's first check the objectives. Adopt and place four different habitat species. A uh, piece of cake. Adopt and place two new timber wolves. They need um, cooling. So I'll, uh, I think it's better to first do the animals that fit in this environment and then check out timber wolves. Uh, conservation rating and that's okay. I uh, remember the African theme park. Uh, it wasn't too bad to do. Reach 10% uh, plant diversity across at least three habitats. We'll be okay. Uh, habitat species welfare 70%. Oh, here we go again. As long as it doesn't reach 90. Um, it's okay. Two new timber wolves. Uh, adopt and place five different exhibit species. Which is okay. Increase conservation rating. 20% diversity for plants. Which is okay. Uh, everything in the zoo with renewable energy. So... We will have to start off with diesel engines and then we can uh, replace them with solar uh, power stuff. Increase the habitat species overall welfare to 85%. Last time it was 90 so this will be fine. Have 13 habitat species in the zoo which is okay. Release 7 timber wolves into the wild which is also okay. Increase the conservation rating to 4 stars which is also okay. It will be, you know, go on by itself. Reach 30% plant diversity across at least 7 habitats. That will be all fine. This is going to be an amazing park because we have all the freedom. Um, can we do the training? Oh, we can. We only cannot do the water stuff. So I'll really, really have to think um, about what I'm going to do here. We have a large area. Um, I can already tell we could do something down here, something-ish down here. Um, no, yeah, this will be fine. There's uh, enough space uh, to do such a thing. Uh, the money is 20,000 bucks. It is not much, but this should be fine. And we just start off easy with, if, if possible, turtoys or something. And uh, three facility buildings, a mechanic, a vegetarian, and a keeper. Things should be fine with that, as long as... You know, I keep adding new animals, donation bins, and that kind of stuff. Um, where is the barrier? I see slides something down here. Yep, yeah, anyway, the barrier is down here, which is... Uh, wow. So the entrance of the people spawning is here. Here's the entrance of the park. So we can go all the way around. I hope that we can actually add in... A train, a uh, monorail, uh, see if we can research a train would be a lot more something to fit in. Um, so the barrier is down here, let's just quick go around, wow that's huge man. And all the way down here, crushing, crushing, it keep going further into the distance. It stops over here at this part where they didn't really do the transaction um, between the outer world and the park that good, but you know what? 
it is fine by me. So we got all the way down here into the shininess. Oh man, I I'm, I want to make like a nice wild west park of this and just put the um, cold animals for the cold in indoors. So make it indoors cool area. Still following the line all the way out here. So this is gonna be awesome. You don't have much money. I can do that. Uh, yes, we cannot do add, add in any water, so I have to keep in mind for you know animals that really need water, and I don't mean like salt water crocodile, but I mean like uh, elephants and that kind of stuff. Ah, uh, we have so much. Oh, here we have water too, so that is a good thing too. Let's see how much water. One, two, three areas this is a very small one. Um, we have a lot of rocks we could sell. Um, uh, just do this for a bit. So, uh, that's more correct. Uh, any who's any house anyways. I am just going to leave it with this. So the next time we can straight off. Uh, after the intro. Uh, we can just go and do this park. For now. Thanks for watching. Well I brought everything back. Look at this. Look at this peaceful area. It could be something out of Red Dead Redemption straight away. So yeah, the camp is back now. Of course, there are some pieces missing, like these boats. Um, that's something I need to research. The Africa team, I believe. So I'm going to put that on, just to, you know, place these boats back.